past four decades, the crew of the United States Geological Survey ship, Polaris, has tracked the health of San Francisco Bay monthly. Monitoring everything from the amount of sediment in water to contaminant loads in the creatures that live in the bay's mud. Historically, the sewage effluent in South Bay was quite toxic, and over the years they've cleaned that up. And the, the critters in the benthos have shown us, by, by the way they've changed as a community, um, changed to show a healthier system. In the wake of the federal Clean Water Act, the South Bay's single largest local freshwater input is no longer one of its rivers or creeks. It's the sprawling San Jose Santa Clara sewage treatment plant. Prior to the 1950s, there was no wastewater treatment in the Bay Area at all. In the 1950s, there was about 2.5 million residents in the Bay Area, um, discharging about 250 million gallons per day of raw sewage into the bay, untreated. And in 2000, there was about six and a half million residents in the Bay Area, discharging almost double that, over 500 million gallons per day. Yet because of wastewater treatment plants like this one, the amount of pollutants going to the bay is a fraction of what it was back in, in the 1950s. We went through a big effort over 20, 30 years to build new and efficient sewage treatment plants and actually get rid of a lot of the little old inefficient ones. So there was a major investment on the order of $4 billion in treatment around San Francisco Bay.